Sports in Puerto Rico, Rico. Sports in Puerto Rico can be traced from the ceremonial competitions amongst the pre-Columbian. One of the sports which the Tainos played was a ball game called Beatty. The Beatty was played in U-shaped fields. Two teams, however, unlike the ball games of the modern era, the winners were treated like heroes and the losers were sacrificed. The Spanish conquistadors who conquered the island introduced various sports such as horse racing, cockfighting, dominoes, and a game similar to bowling called Belish. The Spaniards, however, did not participate in team sports. Spain ceded Puerto Rico to the United States as a result of their defeat in the 1898 Spanish-American War. American soldiers who organized games as part of their training introduced the sport of boxing and basketball to the people of Puerto Rico. The sport of baseball, which was invented in the United States, was introduced to the island by a group of Puerto Ricans and Cubans who learned the sport in the United States. Puerto Rico participates in the Olympics as an independent nation even though it is a territory of the United States. Puerto Rico has participated as such since the 1948 Summer Olympics, celebrated in London. On March 2, 1917, Puerto Ricans became citizens of the United States as a result of the enactment of the jones shafroth Act Pub, L64-368-39 Stat, 951, and as such Puerto Ricans who resided in the United States mainland were and still are permitted to participate and represent that country. However, their achievements representing the United States is part of the intertwined history of sports in the United States and Puerto Rico. The following is the list and history of the most common sports practiced in Puerto Rico and other countries and of the Puerto Ricans or people of Puerto Rican descent who have excelled in those sports locally and slash or in internet. Brief history of sports in Puerto Rico, Puerto oh, Rico, to Rico. Pre-Columbian era. The Tainos who inhabited Puerto Rico before the arrival of Christopher Columbus in 1492 played a series of games which were both ceremonial and diversional, such as races, contests involving body strength and fishing. However, the two most important of these sports were the simulated warrior fights similar to the gladiators and ball playing. The ball game was played in a field, which they called Beatty, situated in the middle of the village. The fields were either shaped like a triangle or like a U. The ball was made of vegetable leaves, which gave it flexibility. Two teams played against each other. The objective of the game was to keep the ball in constant motion. The players were allowed to use their heads, elbows, shoulders, and knees. The team would lose a point if for any reason the ball stopped moving. The score was kept with a mark on the ground, and the game would end after the losing team received a certain number of points. The winners were treated like heroes, and the losers were sacrificed. The game had changed by the time the first Spanish settlers arrived. According to Fray Bartolome de las Casas, the game was played in the following manner. One team served the ball, and the other team returned it, using anything but the hands. If the ball arrived at shoulder height, it was returned like lightning. When it came in near the ground, the player rapidly hit the ground striking the ball with his buttocks. Play continued from... In 1975, archaeologists from the Guania Society of Archaeology and History at the Catholic University of Puerto Rico, members of the Archaeological Society of the Southwest, announced the discovery of the ruins of Abate in an area called Tibes, on the outskirts of the city of Ponce. A total of nine ball fields were discovered under thick forest overgrowth dating back to AD 25 in the area, which is now known as Centro Ceremonial Indigena de Tibes, the Tibes Indigenous Ceremonial Center. The site is now a tourist attraction and is open to the public. Artifacts found on the site are on display and can be seen in a museum on the site and in the Ponce Museum of Art. Spanish Colonization The first Spaniards to inhabit the island were soldiers conquistadors Later, they were followed by farmers, miners, and their families. Team sports were virtually unheard of, however. There were other types of competitions and sports in which they participated. The most common sports were horse racing, cockfighting, and dominoes. 
the first horse track was built in San Juan in 1887. One of the most popular sports was Belish. Ports was Belish. 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 The men would gather in the town plaza and roll a small bowl made of wood with the objective of knocking down pins. A leash was similar to bowling. Another popular sport was bullfighting, which was limited to the larger cities of Ponce and San Juan. American United States Colonization In the late 19th century, new sports were introduced in Puerto Rico, after Puerto Rico became an American territory when the United States defeated Spain in the Spanish-American War. Baseball, which was invented in the United States, was introduced to the island by a group of Puerto Ricans and Cubans who learned the sport in the United States. The sport was also played by the American soldiers who organized games as part of their training. Puerto Ricans were also introduced to the sports of boxing and basketball by the occupying military forces. Modern Era Puerto Rico and Puerto Ricans in the Olympic Games Puerto Rico participates in the Olympics as an independent nation, but because of Puerto Ricans having American citizenship, Puerto Rican athletes have the option of representing Puerto Rico or moving to the United States living there for three previous years or more and then representing that country in the games. Some Puerto Ricans, such as Jiggy Fernandez in tennis, have won gold medals for the U.S. The 1948 Summer Olympics, celebrated in London, was a historical one for Puerto Rico because it was the first time that the island would participate as a nation in a major international sporting event. The island's delegation consisted of only three members, two of which finished among the ten best in pole vault. In their regional participations, the Puerto Ricans had carried the United States flag into the games. The United States protested, claiming that two nations could not use the same flag at the same time. The decree of Commonwealth on July 25, 1952, would give the Puerto Rican delegation a flag of their own. In 1980, the United States boycotted the Olympic Games in Moscow, Russian SFSR, USSR in protest of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. German Rieke Hoff, who was then the president of the Puerto Rican Olympic Committee, was against the boycott because he believed that politics should not get involved with sporting events. He was, therefore, denied economic support from the local government. Rieke Hoff did, however, managed to send one athlete to represent Puerto Rico in boxing, Alberto Mercado, who became the only American citizen to participate in the 1980 Olympics. In 1982, the government of Puerto Rico, headed by then-Governor Carlos Romero Barcelo, withheld economic support from the athletic delegation. The Puerto Rican Olympic Committee, under the leadership of Rieke Hoff, had to appeal directly to the people for donations and were able to send the delegation. The Puerto Rican Olympic Committee is also the organization in charge of selecting the Puerto Rican athletes, which represent the island in the Pan American Games and the Central American and Caribbean Games. The 1988 Winter Olympics, officially known as the Roman 15 Olympic Winter Games, was celebrated in Calgary, Alberta, Canada between February 13 and 28. It was the first Winter Olympics ever held in Canada. It was also the first time that a Puerto Rican team was sent to represent the island in an Olympic ski competition. No Puerto Rican had ever skied in the Olympics. The six-person Puerto Rican ski team was made up of native Puerto Ricans. They were Felix Fletches, Walter Sanze, Kevin Wilson, his sister Mary Pat Wilson, and Jason Edelman. Mary Pat Wilson is Puerto Rico's first and only female Olympic skier. Even though the team did not do well in the competition, they were highly respected by their competitors. Christina Brandy represented Puerto Rico in the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens, Greece. She became the first tennis player representing Puerto Rico to win a singles match in an Olympic when she beat Jelena Kostanek from Croatia 7-5 and 6-1.
She lost in the second round to Russian Anastasia Miskina. At the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Monica Puig made Olympic history when she became the first person to win an Olympic gold medal for Puerto Rico by defeating Germany's Angelique Kerber. She became the first Puerto Rican female medalist in any sport. Olympics medalists The following table has a list of Puerto Ricans, including people of Puerto Rican ancestry, who won Olympic medals. It must be noted that Puerto Ricans is a term also used to describe a resident of the United States who was born in Puerto Rico or who traces their family ancestry to Puerto Rico. Not all represented the island, some represented the United States. Puerto Ricans have won a total of 34 Olympic medals, 25 for the United States and 9 for Puerto Rico. Notes says, Puerto Rico at the Paralympic Games Puerto Rico debuted in the Paralympic Games on 1988. In this event, Isabel Bustamante was awarded the first medals for the delegation, winning one gold and two silver medals in athletics. In the 2000 Summer Paralympics, Alexis Pizarro became the first male athlete to win a medal for Puerto Rico, reaching bronze in athletics. Pizarro repeated this performance in the 2004 Summer Paralympics. On August 20, 2008, David Bernier awarded the flag of Puerto Rico to Nilda Gomez, who was selected to be the flag bearer in the opening ceremonies of the 2008 Paralympics. Three athletes that registered a marks attended the ceremony, which also included Alexis Pizarro in athletics and Julio Reguero in sailing. Puerto Rico's first medal in this edition of the Paralympics was won by Gomez, who won bronze in rifle shooting. She won bronze in the 10-meter trial, finishing with 489 points. Puerto Rico at the Special Olympics Puerto Rico's Special Olympics program was founded in 1970. Since then, it has offered services to more than a 1,000 athletes. In the 2003 Special Olympics World Summer Games, Puerto Rico won 57 medals. Puerto Rico won a total of 34 medals in the 2007 Special Olympics World Summer Games, including 7 gold, 18 silver, and 9 bronze medals. Due to the team's performance, the Senate of Puerto Rico organized a ceremony where the athletes and trainers received recognitions. Distribution and practice among sports American football Ron Rivera became the first NFL player of Puerto Rican descent when he played for the Chicago Bears in the 1980s. In 1986, Rivera also became the first NFL player of Puerto Rican descent to win a Super Bowl championship ring. Others who have played in the NFL are O.J. Santiago of the Atlanta Falcons, Marco Rivera who now plays for the Dallas Cowboys and who in 2002 became the first Puerto Rican to play in the Pro Bowl as a member of the Green Bay Packers, the first of three appearances in Glenn Martinez who in 2000. Willie Colon who was drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2006 and won Super Bowl Roman 4-3 is also of Puerto Rican descent. Aaron Hernandez, formerly of the New England Patriots, was also of Puerto Rican descent. Victor Cruz, another player of Puerto Rican descent, played for the New York Giants and was known for his salsa touchdown dance. While all of these players are of Puerto Rican descent, there has yet to be a Puerto Rican-born NFL player. American football has been played in the island for many decades, dating all the way back to the installment of American military bases. Puerto Rico currently has four football leagues. PRP Wee League, for children 8 minutes 16, PRHSFL, for high school students, the newly created AFAF for college students, and Prathel, a semi-professional league. Although football has been in the island for so many years, it is not widely known. Many things attribute to this, for example, lack of proper funding and advertising, lack of high school affiliated teams, both attributing to lack of good coaching. In July 2012, the Puerto Rico American Football Federation became a member of the International Federation of American Football, Fiwi Football League, 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 League. 
This federation has four divisions with areas in Baldrige, Park Central, University Gardens, Parkville Fort, Ville Fort, Buchanan, Carolina, and lastly, Canguas. The league is played from January to March at El Complejo Deportivo Roberto Clement in San Juan Saturday mornings. The following is a table with the years and weight distribution for each division, PRHSFL. This league has six varsity teams and three teams at junior varsity level. The league is made up of two schools, Antilles High School Pirates and Commonwealth Comets, and four clubs, Carolina Blitz, Bayam and Wolfpack, University Garden Dolphins, and Park Central Blue Wave. A FAF. This league was founded in 2009 to rival the Praffle and to one day be a part of local college athletics. There are four teams, Catano Gators, San Juan Hurricanes, Carolina Blitz, and Baldrige Falcons. Praffle Puerto Rico American Football League, a semi-professional league founded in 1985 with five teams. The Bayam and Wolfpack, Baldrige 57 Falcons, Carolina Blitz, Catano Lancheros, and Fajardo Carrigeros. The Catano Lancheros were the 2011 Praffle champions. Baseball Early history of baseball in Puerto Rico During the late 19th century, Puerto Rico was to witness the introduction of organized team sports. The game of baseball was first introduced to the island by a group of Puerto Ricans and Cubans who had learned the game in the United States. At first, the sport was not well received by the local press and general public. It was looked upon as a silly game. The first two baseball clubs were founded in 1897. They were the Almendares Baseball Club, owned by Francisco Alamo Armas, and the Borinquen Baseball Club, owned by Santos Filippi. According to the daily newspaper El Pais, on January 11, 1898, the first organized baseball game was played in Puerto Rico at the Old Velodrome, which was located at the PDA 15 in Santos, San Juan. The Boring Quintin beat the Almendares with a score of 3-0. The first game to go a complete nine innings was played on January 30, 1898, and the Boring Quin once again beat the Almendares with a score of 9-3. Puerto Rico became an American territory when the United States defeated Spain in the Spanish-American War. The American soldiers stationed in Puerto Rico were permitted to organize a baseball club to play against the local clubs as a diversional outlet. On November 4, 1900, the Almendares Baseball Club composed of Puerto Ricans and Cubans beat the American Baseball Club of the 2nd Regiment of Infantry with a score of 32. In the early 1920s, teams from Puerto Rico, such as the San Juan Stars, would travel to New York City and play against some of teams there, which included teams made up of Puerto Ricans who lived there. Modern Era Puerto Rico has over 100 major league baseball players who are currently active, in addition to the hundreds others who have participated in the past. These facts combine to make baseball one of the most popular sports in the island. Some of the most notable baseball players from Puerto Rico are five Hall of Famers Roberto Clement, Orlando Cepeda, Roberto Alamar, Ivan Pudge Rodriguez, and Edgar Martinez. Another baseball player who is a Hall of Famer and who was born to a Puerto Rican father is Reginald Martinez Reggie Jackson. Also amongst the notable players or former players are Jose Chio Cruz, Juan Gonzalez Victor Pellot, George Posada, and Bernie Williams. Chronological order of major events. On January 11, 1898, the first organized baseball game is played in Puerto Rico between the Borinquen team and the Almendares team. The Borinquen won 3-0. In 1928, Emilio Milito Nadero of the Cuban Stars became the first Puerto Rican to play in the Negro Leagues. In 1942, Hiram Bithorn of the Chicago Cubs became the first Puerto Rican to play in the major leagues. In 1949, Luis Olmo El Gibaro, Olmos of the Brooklyn Dodgers, became the first Puerto Rican to play in a World Series game and the first one to hit a home run and to get three hits in the same game. In 1951, Puerto Rico won its first and only baseball World Cup. In 1954, 
Ruben Gomez of the New York Giants became the first Puerto Rican to pitch in a World Series game and the first one to receive a World Series ring. In 1972, Roberto Clement of the Pittsburgh Pirates became the first Hispanic to reach 3,000 hits in what would prove to be his career's final at bat. In 1973, following his death in a plane crash, Clement became the first Puerto Rican-born player to be enshrined in the Baseball Hall of Fame. In 1984, Willie Hernandez of the Detroit Tigers became the first Puerto Rican to win both the AL Cy Young Award and the AL MVP Award. In 1992, Jose Chio Cruz was honored by the Houston Astros when his hash 25 was retired by the team. In 1993, Reginald Martinez Reggie Jackson whose father is Puerto Rican, was enshrined in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. In 1995, his love for the island is reflected in the fact that he is the only Hall of Famer to be enshrined with a cap of a team outside the mainland United States. His plaque depicts him as an aguadilla shark. In 1999, Orlando Perichin Cepeda became the second Puerto Rican-born player to be enshrined in the Baseball Hall of Fame. In 2001, Major League Baseball history was made when opening day was in San Juan at the Hiram Bethorn Stadium with a game between the Texas Rangers and the Toronto Blue Jays. In 2003 as well as 2004, the former Montreal Expos played 22 home games each year at Hiram Bethorn Stadium in San Juan before moving to Washington, D.C. and becoming the Washington Nationals. In 2011, Roberto Alamar became the third Puerto Rican-born player to be enshrined in the Baseball Hall of Fame. In 2017, Ivan Pudge Rodriguez became the fourth Puerto Rican-born player to be enshrined in the Baseball Hall of Fame. In 2018, Alex Cara became the first Puerto Rican to manage a World Series winning team when the Boston Red Sox defeated the Lad Dodgers. In 2019, Edgar Martinez became the fifth Puerto Rican-born player to be enshrined in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Currently, Puerto Rico has a winter baseball league named the Puerto Rico Baseball League that has operated since the early 20th century. The champion of the Puerto Rico League represents Puerto Rico is in the annual Caribbean World Series. It currently has six teams, Lobos de Arecibo, Arecibo Wolves, Criollos de Caguas, Caguas Creoles, Creoles, Kigans de Carolina, Carolina Giants, Indios de Meigs, Meigs Indians, Leones de Ponce, Ponce Lions, Cangrejeros de Santos, Santos Crabbers. The Puerto Rico national baseball team competes in international events, including the World Baseball Classic, separately from the United States. Hiram Bethorn Stadium in San Juan has hosted first-round games in each of the first three World Baseball Classic tournaments. Basketball Early history of basketball in Puerto Rico The United States military government banned cockfighting and bullfighting from the island. They did, however, introduce a new sport called basketball. Basketball was used by the American soldiers as part of their physical training. When the soldiers played basketball, they used a plain straw basket, which was cut open at both ends and placed it on the highest end of a pole. For a ball, they used a football, and the game was played without any established set of rules. In 1913, the Imco of Puerto Rico organized the first game played using the official rules of basketball. Teams organized in the other Incas in the island participated in the tournament. The first basketball organization in Puerto Rico was the San Juan Basketball League. Rio Piedras and Bayamon later followed and formed their own leagues. Basketball became a popular sport in Puerto Rico, due in part to the BSN, which has been around since the 1930s. During the early 1980s, with many games shown on television, the sport's popularity increased. There is also a women's professional league, which is affiliated to the BSN. Street basketball is also popular among Puerto Rico's youth. Chronological order of major events. In 1913, the first game of basketball was played in Puerto Rico. In 1916, the first basketball tournament in Puerto Rico was organized. Alfred Butch Lee, 
a member of the 1976 Olympic basketball team, became the first Puerto Rican in the NBA when, in 1978, he was drafted by the Atlanta Hawks. Lee was also the first Puerto Rican to play on the NBA playoffs as a member of the 1979-80 Los Angeles Lakers. He was awarded an NBA championship ring, even though he did not participate in that season's NBA Finals because of his injuries. Jose Ortiz Piculin was signed by the Utah Jazz in 1988. In 1988, Ramon Rivas followed Ortiz two weeks later, being signed by the Boston Celtics. Dick Versace became the first person of Puerto Rican descent to coach an NBA team in 1988. He was the head coach of the Indiana Pacers from 1988 to 1990. In 1989, Ramon Ramos was signed by the Portland Trail Blazers, but he never played because of a life-changing accident. In 2000, Daniel Santiago was signed to play for the Phoenix Suns. In 2001, Carlos Arroyo was signed by the Toronto Raptors. In 2004, Puerto Rico's national basketball team became the first team to defeat the United States team in the Olympic competitions of Athens. In 2011, Jose Juan Beria became the first Puerto Rican to play in the NBA Finals for a championship-winning team, the Dallas Mavericks. In 2015, Carla Cortijo became the first Puerto Rican-born female to play in the women's. Her position in the Atlanta Dream was that of guard. In 2016, Carmelo Anthony, whose father is Puerto Rican, won his third Olympic gold medal in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil as member of the U.S. Olympic basketball team. The Portland Trail Blazers' Morris Harkless played for the Puerto Rican national team in 2016 and Shabazz Napier also with Portland has been in multiple talks since 2012 about joining Puerto Rico's national team. International Puerto Rican Basketball Players Puerto Rico's national basketball team has reached the Olympic Games multiple times, including the 2004 Athens Olympics, where they became the first team to defeat the United States Dream Team during Olympic competition. Puerto Rico's national team has won gold medals in other international competitions. Puerto Ricans have also been members of the Harlem Globetrotters. In 1995, Orlando Antigua, whose mother is Puerto Rican, became the first non-black in 52 years to play for the Harlem Globetrotters. In 2008, Orlando Melendez, a.k.a. El Gato, became the first Puerto Rican-born player and the second Hispanic to play for the Harlem Globetrotters. Bobsold Puerto Rico had a bobsold team in the 1992, 1994, and 1998 Winter Olympics. Boxing Early history of boxing in Puerto Rico, to Rico. The sport of boxing was also introduced by the United States military, which occupied Puerto Rico, and the same as basketball, boxing was used by the American soldiers as part of their physical training. Boxing competitions amongst the soldiers were open to the public. The first boxing match in Puerto Rico was held on January 15, 1899. Boxing has, for many years, disputed the top spot for the Puerto Rican fans' favorite sport with baseball and basketball. Puerto Ricans have distinguished themselves both as amateurs and professionals. In 1917, Nero Chen became the first Puerto Rican professional boxer to gain international recognition. Puerto Rico has also been the site of many championship fights. Boxing in the Olympics, fixed Olympics, 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 Picks Olympics. In 1948, boxer Juan Evangelista Venegas earned Puerto Rico's first Olympic medal, finishing his participation in London with a bronze medal that year. Subsequently, Puerto Rico has earned five more medals in Olympic boxing, including a silver one by Luis Ortiz in 1984. That silver medal is the only silver medal ever won by any Puerto Rican native at Olympic Games. Although he did not win a medal, Alberto Mercado became, in 1980, the only American citizen to actually participate in the Moscow Olympics. Professional Boxing There are 12 Puerto Ricans in the International Boxing Hall of Fame. 
they are Puerto Rico's first world champion Sixto Escobar, Wilfred Benitez, Wilfredo Gomez Carlos Ortiz, Edwin Rosario Pedro Montanez, Jose Chegui Torres, Joe Cortez referee, Herbert Coco Kid Hardwick, Felix Tito Trinidad, Hector Macho K and Mario Rivera Martino writer. Benitez is the youngest champion in boxing's history as of May 23, 1981 was the youngest three-time world champion after knocking out world junior middleweight champion Morris Hope. Hardwick was a member of the feared Black Murderers Row. The late Mario Rivera Martino served Puerto Rican boxing for more than 50 years as a writer and eventual commissioner. Other boxers from Puerto Rico which have excelled in the sport include Carlos de Leon, Asi Acasio, Alfredo Escalera, Belinda Laracuant, John Ruiz, who made history by becoming boxing's first Latin American world heavyweight champion ever after beating WBA world champ Evander Holofield, Alex Sanchez, Samuel, and an In 2006, Puerto Rican Miel Santana made boxing history by becoming the fighter who waited the longest after a title bout to have a losing world title bout recognized as a mistake by a major organization. The IBF recognized Santana's challenge of IBF lightweight champion Greg Hodgen, who originally beat Santana by an 11th round technical decision as erroneous because of a fight fixing and betting scandal that took place. Chronological order of major events. On January 15, 1899, the first boxing match was held in Puerto Rico. In 1917, Nero Chen became the first Puerto Rican professional boxer to gain international recognition. In May 1927, boxing was legalized in Puerto Rico by an order signed by U.S. appointed Governor Horace Mann Towner. On June 26, 1934, Sixto Escobar became the first Puerto Rican to win an undisputed world championship. On June 11, 1937, Herbert Coco Kid Hardwick, a welterweight, became the first Hispanic to win a title in the World Colored Championships. In 1948, boxer Juan Evangelista Venegas earned Puerto Rico's first bronze Olympic medal. In 1956, Jose Torres won a silver Olympic medal for the United States at the junior middleweight division at the Olympics held in Melbourne. In 1972, Esteban de Jesus won a 10-round decision in Madison Square Garden over undefeated lightweight champion Roberto Duran in a televised bout. On September 1, 1973, Jose Roman made sports history by becoming the first Puerto Rican to fight for the world heavyweight title when he fought and lost to world heavyweight champion George Foreman in Tokyo, Japan. On February 20, 1976, the first heavyweight title fight in Puerto Rico was celebrated in San Juan between Mohammed Ali and Gene Kowalkman, Ali being the victor. On March 6, 1976, Wilfred Benitez became the youngest world champion in history at 17 years old. On May 21, 1977, Wilfredo Gomez won the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. He eventually had a streak of 32 knockouts in a row. In 1980, Alberto Mercado represented Puerto Rico in the Moscow Olympics. He was the only American citizen to actually participate in those Olympics. On November 25, 1980, Carlos de Leon became the first Latin to be world's cruiserweight champion. On January 30, 1982, Wilfred Benitez outpointed legendary fighter Roberto Duran over 15 rounds. On December 3, 1982, the only time Wilfred Benitez and Wilfredo Gomez fight on the same program, Gomez defeats Lupe Pintor by a knockout in 14 rounds, while Benitez lasts 15 rounds with Thomas Hearns, but loses by decision. On May 20, 1983, Edwin Rosario outpoints Jose Luis Ramirez over 12 rounds by unanimous decision three judges, scoring the bout 115 minutes 113 to win the vacant World Boxing Council's lightweight title. His first of three reigns as world lightweight champion and four world championship reigns overall. In 1984, Luis Ortiz earned Puerto Rico's first silver Olympic medal. In 1991, 
Carlos Ortiz became the first Puerto Rican inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. In 1994, Wilfred Benitez was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. In 1995, Wilfredo Gomez was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. In 1997, Jose Torres was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. On January 19, 2001, Ada Velas became the first Puerto Rican to win a Women's World Boxing Championship. On March 3, 2001, John Ruiz became the first Hispanic to be crowned heavyweight champion of the world after beating Evander Holyfield. In 2002, Sixto Escobar was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. In 2006, Edwin Rosario was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. In 2007, Pedro Montanez was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. In 2011, Joe Cortez became the first Puerto Rican boxing referee to be inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. On June 10, 2012, Herbert Louis Hardwick, a.k.a. Coco Kid, was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. On June 4, 2014, Felix Tito Trinidad was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. In 2016, Hector Camacho, a.k.a. Hector Macho Camacho, was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. In 2018, the late Mario Rivera Martino became the first Puerto Rican boxing sports writer and commissioner to be inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Among the international boxers who fought in Puerto Rico in a title bout are Mohamed Ali, Roberto Duran, and Alexis Arguello. The 1970s became known in Puerto Rico as the golden era of boring quince Puerto Rico's boxing. Equals indicates the person is no longer alive. Cockfights Unlike in most states of the United States, cockfighting was legal in Puerto Rico until 2018 and there are many places that draw large crowds to see bantams fighting every weekend. It is known as the gentleman's sport due to the common practice of wagers being a verbal contract between two individuals and may range from one dollar to thousands of dollars. Across the world, Puerto Rico has been seen as the largest capital for the controversial sport as it is incredibly popular and often televised as other sports are. Roosters are specially bred to fight, first entering the ring between one and two years of age. In 2018, the United States announced that it would ban cockfights in all its territories, including Puerto Rico. The ban began in January 2019. Equestrian The sport of equestrianism has certain popularity in Puerto Rico, more so among members of higher classes. Puerto Rico frequently sends contestants to different international tournaments, such as the Olympics. On August 16, 2003, Mark Wetringle from the town of Aguadilla represented the United States in the Pan American Games celebrated in the Dominican Republic. There, he won the gold medal with a final total of 13.66 penalties compared to the 21.87 posted by Mexico. When presented with the gold medal, Wetring unfurled and waved the Puerto Rican flag. This win secured a berth in the 2004 Olympic Games in Athens, Greece. Wettering represented Puerto Rico in the 2004 Olympics. Fencing Fencing in Puerto Rico has become popular ever since David Kite Bernier, Victor Bernier, and the brothers Jonathan and Marcos Pina have won medals in the 2003 Pan American Games celebrated in the Dominican Republic. Merthesca Escanilas was also a popular Puerto Rican fencer. She participated at the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia, among many other international events. Golf While golf is not very popular in Puerto Rico, there are many golf courses across the island, such as the one at Club de Portavo del East. The most famous Puerto Rican golfer is Juan Chai Chai Rodriguez, who was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1992. Rodriguez used to put his hat over the hole whenever he made a birdie or eagle. After he heard that other golfers were complaining about his little act, he decided to try something new. 
Rodriguez developed his signature Torridor dance, where he would make believe that the birdie was a bull, and that his putter was a sword, and he would terminate the bull. Rodriguez represented Puerto Rico on 12 World Cup teams. In 1986, he won the Hispanic Recognition Award. In 1988, he was named Replica's Hispanic Man of the Year. Horse racing, mm, racing, mm, racing. Horse racing is a sport which was first introduced to Puerto Rico by the conquistadors. Horse races continue to be a very popular sport in Puerto Rico till this day. During the earlier part of the 20th century, races were held at El Comandante Race Track. Since 1972, El Nuevo Comandante, now called Hippodromo Camero, in Canavanes, has been the home of Puerto Rico's Sunday horse races and of the annual Clásico del Caribe, a race that reunites important horses from many countries. Notable jockeys include Mi L. A. Rivera, who won the 1974 Preakness Stakes and 1974 Belmont Stakes aboard Little Current, and U.S. Racing Hall of Fame member Angel Cordero, Jr., 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 Jr. Cordero is one of the leading thoroughbred horse racing jockeys of all time in terms of wins. He was the first and only Puerto Rican jockey to win all three of the American Classic races which consist of the Kentucky Derby, Preakness Stakes, and the Belmont Stakes. Two of the most famous horses in Puerto Rican history were Camero, a world record holder for consecutive wins, and 1976 Kentucky Derby winner, Bold Forbes. Road running? Road running have long been a part of Puerto Rico's sporting tradition. Many important races are run annually in the island, including the Maritan de San Blas in Como, long considered one of the most important half-marathon races in the world, and the Ponce Marathon. The world's best 10K WB 10K, also known as Maritan Teodoro Viscoso, is a 10K run celebrated in San Juan, Puerto Rico every year. It is certified by the Association of International Marathons and Road Races Ames and by the International Amateur Athletic Federation, IOF. The event was also the first race transmitted live through the Internet, with audio, video, and results. WB10K was ranked among the 20 most competitive races in the world. Notable marathon runners include George Pico Gonzalez and Hunga Maldonado. Martial Arts Martial arts sports, especially karate, have had a marked ascent in popularity in Puerto Rico since the 1970s, when Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan movies were very popular among Puerto Rico's youth. Olympic-style wrestling James Espinal won a silver medal for Puerto Rico at the 84 KG men's freestyle category at the 2012 Summer Olympics in London, earning Puerto Rico its second-ever silver medal at the Olympics, its first since boxer Luis Ortiz in 1984, and its first Olympic medal in wrestling. Professional wrestling Professional wrestling has enjoyed much popularity in Puerto Rico for a long time. Matches have been televised since the 1960s, and multiple, non-televised matches are held each week across the island. World Wrestling Council is the main wrestling promoter in Puerto Rico. Famous Puerto Rican wrestlers have included Barabas, Carlos Colon and his sons, Carlito and Primo Colon, Los Invaders, Savio Viga, WWF Asterisk, Hall of Famer Pedro Morales, and Los Super Medicos. In addition, many World Wrestling Entertainment WWE formerly WWF stars, such as Randy Savage and Ric Flair fought in Puerto Rico before. Women's wrestling has been gaining popularity in Puerto Rico since the 1990s with performers like La Tigressa and Black Rose. Two Puerto Ricans have been inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. They are Pedro Morales, 1995, and Carlos Colon, 2014. Sailing in. Sailing as a sport has picked up in popularity in Puerto Rico since the middle 1990s, under the leadership of Enrique Figaro and his wife Carla Malatrasi. 
The pair have combined to win many international medals, and they competed at the 2000 Olympic Games. Figaro also participated at the 1992 Olympics. On February 2, 2004, Figaro and teammate George Hernandez won the Olympic Games Rolex Regatta. They were named champions by topping 29 entries in the Tornado fleet. The regatta winners had their sights set on the 2004 Olympics and Paralympic Games in Athens, Greece. 503 sailors participated with a fleet of 323 boats representing 39 nations. Figaro went to the 2004 Olympic Games and represented Puerto Rico. Football Soccer The sport known as soccer in the United States is also known and referred to as football or in the Spanish language as Ballon Pie. Puerto Rico has a Puerto Rico Soccer League which is sponsored by the Federation Puerto Riquina de Football. Football, unlike in many of the other Latin American countries, mainly because of the strong American culture influence on the island. But, since the new millennium it has slowly increased its fan base on the island. Puerto Rico has a FIFA-sponsored federation, the Federation Puerto Riquina de Football, and a senior national team which is ranked 106 by FIFA. Puerto Rico has only made it as far as the second round or regional play for a World Cup qualifier. This was in 2008 when it beat Dominican Republic 1-0 in the first round and lost against Honduras in the second round with an aggregate score of 6-2. Puerto Rico currently has a professional league called the Puerto Rico Soccer League which was founded in 2008 and is composed of eight teams. It also had the Puerto Rico Islanders, which played in the North American Soccer League, the second tier of the American Soccer Pyramid. The team has been defunct since 2012, however. In June 2015, a new Nassau team, Puerto Rico FC, was announced. In 2017, Puerto Rico Sol became the first women's pro soccer club in the Caribbean. The following are among the players who have played for Puerto Rico, Hector Ramos, Alexis Rivera Curit, Andres Cabrero. There are several other Puerto Rican players or players of Puerto Rican descent playing abroad in foreign leagues. Softball Women's softball has enjoyed certain popularity in Puerto Rico. The women's national softball team has won many international events and participated at many Olympics. Lisa Fernandez has represented the United States as member of the U.S. Women's Olympic softball team, winning gold medals in the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia, 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Australia, and in the 2004 Olympics in Athens, Greece. She established a women's softball record when she struck out 25 members of the women's Australian Olympic softball team. Ivlis Echevarria, who in 2003 was inducted into the International Softball Federation Hall of Fame, is also considered by many to be the greatest pitcher born in Puerto Rico. Ten Puerto Ricans have been inducted into the International Softball Federation Hall of Fame so far. The ten Puerto Ricans in International Softball Federation Hall of Fame are Juan Pachat, Carlos Velasquez, class of 1997, Ismael Chavalo Delgado, George Tanco, Alejandro Jr. Cruz, class of 1993, and Ivlis Echeverria, Betty Segura, Clara Vasquez. Swimming competitive, Jesus Jess Vasilo is considered by many to be the greatest swimmer to have been born in Puerto Rico. In 1997, he became the first and so far the only Puerto Rican to be inducted into the International Swimming Hall of Fame. He currently heads the Puerto Rico Swimming Federation. In 1966, 17-year-old Anita Lallin set a new record in the Central American and Caribbean Games celebrated in San Juan when she won a total of 10 gold medals. Fernando Canals was a 100-meter freestyle finalist in the 1978 Berlin World Championships, earning a fifth place. He was the first Puerto Rican swimmer to final in the World Championships. He earned five gold medals and one silver medal during the 1978 Central American Championships in Medellin, Colombia. He became the first Puerto Rican to medal in the Pan American Games by winning silver 
in the 100 meters free in 1979 San Juan, Puerto Rico, and repeating that feat in 1983 Caracas, Venezuela. Maritza Correa is the first black Puerto Rican woman in history to make the U.S. Olympic swimming team. She earned a silver medal swimming prelims of the 400 m free relay at the 2004 Olympic Games celebrated in Athens, Greece. Years after the demolition of the Escambrin swimming complex, San Juan Mayor George Santini will open the new roofed San Juan Natatorium. The official opening of the San Juan Natatorium was December 15, 2006. A second natatorium is scheduled to open in time for the 2010 Central American and Caribbean Games in Meigs. On May 19, 2012, Alrando Fernandez, also known as the Puerto Rican Aquaman, became the first Puerto Rican to swim across the Strait of Gibraltar. Tennis Tennis is not very popular as a fan sport in Puerto Rico, but many Puerto Ricans practice it as a means of exercise. The 1984 television match between Martina Navratilova and Jiggy Fernandez was one of the most watched events of the year in Puerto Rican television. Jiggy Fernandez is arguably Puerto Rico's most famous tennis player ever, having won doubles championships in Grand Slam tournaments, including Wimbledon, winning gold medals for the USA doubles team in the 1992 and 1996 Olympics, being ranked no one in the world for women's doubles tournaments, and being ranked among the top 30 singles players. She is widely considered to be one of the greatest doubles players of all time. Christina Brandi is the first Puerto Rican tennis player to win an Olympic tennis match representing Puerto Rico. Brandi represented Puerto Rico in the 2004 Olympics, where she beat Jelena Kostanek from Croatia 7 minutes 5 and 6 minutes 1. Charlie Passer was another noted Puerto Rican tennis player. He lost to Pancho Gonzalez in 1969 in the second longest singles match by number of games before the introduction of the tiebreaker. It took Pancho Gonzalez 112 games to defeat Charlie Passer in the first round 22-24, 1-6, 16-14, Rafael Jordan was a player that many considered had potential to become a men's professional tour champion, but he died after an automobile accident during the mid 1990s. Monica Puig became the first person to win an Olympic gold medal for Puerto Rico at the 2016 Summer Olympics. She defeated Germany's Angelique Kerber in the women's singles tennis final. Track and field Track and field has been another sport of note in Puerto Rico. Most schools there base their field days only on track and field events. Many Puerto Rican runners Hurlers and throwers have participated at the Olympics. Famous Puerto Rican track and fielders include Rebecca Kohlberg and Angelita Lind. Kohlberg, also known as the mother of women's sports in Puerto Rico from 1932-1946, for 14 consecutive years was Puerto Rico's tennis champion. In 1938, she won two gold medals at the Roman for Central American and Caribbean Games, celebrated in Panama in the discus and javelin events. In 1946, when the games were celebrated in Mexico, she won a gold medal in softball. While studying for her master's degree at Columbia University, she was in the university's field hockey and lacrosse championship teams. She was also a member of the undefeated women's basketball team of the University of Mexico. Lind, known as the Angel of Puerto Rico, has represented the island and participated in three Central American and Caribbean Games CAC and won two gold medals, three silver medals and one bronze medal. She also participated in three Pan American Games and in the 1984 Olympics, celebrated in Los Angeles, California. Javier Coulson made history by becoming the first Puerto Rican track and field runner in an Olympic game, to win the bronze medal at the 2012 London Olympics. He won it in the 400-meter hurdle competition. Volleyball The Puerto Rican Volleyball Federation was founded in 1958. The first men's tournament organized was the Torneo Preolimpico. The Federation's first president was Jose L. Purcell. 
Ten years later, the Women's League was established. Long considered the dormant sport among major sports in Puerto Rico, volleyball has enjoyed much popularity since the 1990s, both in its professional and beach volleyball versions. Puerto Rico's Liga Superior de Volleyball has thrived in recent years, both in the men's and women's tournaments. In 1970, most of Puerto Rico's national women's volleyball team's members were killed when a plane that was flying them to San Juan, Puerto Rico from the Dominican Republic crashed shortly after takeoff. In 1997, debut a foreign player in women league. The most dominated are Laura Salinas from Monterrey, Mexico, lead the Mexico national team to several international competitions. The foreign player debut in women's league in 2000. Some of Puerto Rico's famous volleyball players are Willie de Jesus, Raul Papelio, and Hector Soto. Papelio and Ramon Machito Hernandez participated in 2004 Olympic Games in Athens in beach volleyball, first ever volleyball team in the island Olympic history. Laura Daniela Lorda, meanwhile, is a Puerto Rican who played in Mexico's national volleyball team. Hector Piqui Soto is the first Latin American player that has led the scoring in the World Championships history. Soto won the Best Scorer Award in 2006 FIV World Championship in Japan and 2007 FIV World Cup in Japan. During the World Cup, he scored 43 points against Korea in the process establishing a scoring record. Outside of his international performance, Soto has played in the professional leagues of Italy, Tunisia, Japan, and Russia. Lacrosse For the first time, Puerto Rico will feature a national team at the 2022 Under-19 World Lacrosse Championships.